Do you have so, yeah, in US 176, about five miles outside of the town of St. Matthews, uh, just coming in right behind this main line of storms. Um, that's just really, I don't know, maybe two or three miles right in front of me. Uh, trying to uh, see if I can get back out in front of this line before it uh, gets too dark. Uh, one noticeable difference is the lightning's really started to uh, uh, decrease over the last 20, 25 minutes or so, especially with the southern end of the line. So, uh, you know, as we get closer and closer to the sunset, it looks like the ability is kind of limited and limited the storm's ability to uh, strengthen the water. We're, uh... Zoom on in, and there's St. Matthews, and that's kind of where Chris Jackson is, is coming in now off the interstate. He's going to make his way through this uh, line and hopefully get out in front of it. You know, check out the storm structure with the, the southern end of the line. And if you can see on my camera right now, I'm actually coming what what in the chaser world we call the whale's mouth. And that's when you come out from underneath a, uh, a, a, a thunderstorm that usually has a shelf cloud. So it gives you this impression that you're coming out of the mouth of a whale. And you can see that really nice, tight gradient across the sky. And I'm actually driving towards Charleston. And I can see blue sky and you know fair weather clouds uh, down toward Evan. Uh, Chris Jackson, I'm looking out of my corner of my eye at your picture as well, too. Did your camera just refocus, or did it get significantly darker where you are? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's got a little bit darker, James. There, I, I see some low-level clouds uh, commonly referred to as scud with some rising motion. So we may have a storm trying to develop literally uh, right above me. And uh, over the last five minutes or so, it's got it's gotten significantly darker. But uh, I should be out from under this uh, in about another 10 minutes or so. And uh, once I'm able to turn around and face back toward the storm, it, it should be absolutely gorgeous. Um, uh, Chris, I'll, I'll let you go first. Uh, tell us where you are and, and where you're headed towards. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of over between... Uh, Bowman and CNT, really close to I-95. And uh, what I did, I, I turned on a couple of side roads here. I was just checking GPS, and I should have a great view back off to the west here on this little dirt road. It should be a get here. And I'll be able to show you guys this just absolutely gorgeous shelf cloud. Like anybody that knows me knows I, I love shelf clouds and. And, and this one's a, a winter, winter chicken dinner right now. But, uh, yeah, I mean, going back to the weather uh, at hand, Scotty, uh, really south of Columbia, uh, most of these storms that, that are ongoing are, are behind this uh, this big outflow boundary that's causing this shelf cloud. And uh, you, you can see the trend is for them to be weakening as uh, they encounter some of that cold air and that's just undercutting the uh, updrafts. And here we go. Let's see. Oh. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. And this goes this goes across the entire sky from one horizon to the other, and it, it is just absolutely phenomenal. That is a good shot. There.